Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Monday, it was my birthday, and it didn't quite go as planned. So one of the things I did is I went to Arlington Cemetery and spent four hours just uh, looking at the graves and thinking about American history and the people who wish they had a birthday and what they gave for their country. Some gave their lives, some gave part of their lives. And I visited the Kennedy graves and let the word go forth, and I visited Robert Kennedy's grave and the tiny ripples of hope that can wipe down the mightiest walls of oppression. But I found Earl Warren's grave along with John Foster Dulles and Arthur Goldberg together. And I want to read from his tombstone. I think it's something we should reflect on. Where there is injustice, we should correct it. Where there is poverty, we should eliminate it. Where there is corruption, we should stamp, stamp it out. Where there is violence, we should punish it. Where there is neglect, we should provide care. Where there is war, we should restore peace. And wherever corrections are achieved, we should add them permanently to our storehouse of treasures. This from the vice presidential candidate of the Grand Old Party in 1948, the nominee for the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice nominated by Dwight Eisenhower when Republicans were Republicans. Thank God for Earl Warren. God bless the United States. And may God save the Gulf of Mexico because it doesn't look like anybody else is going to. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For what purpose